So I'm often asked, is there a way to automate uh, clean up of white background? And that's what we're going to be looking at today. We've basically shown you quite a lot of techniques over the years of cleaning backgrounds, uh, especially for family portraiture and so on. Um, quite a few of my experienced studios um, need to do perhaps a same session or a same day viewing. So the automation is absolutely key. And uh, especially if it's white backgrounds and they're not quite lit enough, uh, obviously we need to actually look at a way that we can actually clean things up just a little bit more. So here's some simple techniques for you to co uh, really base things on and obviously what we can do is start to create actions to actually uh, fix these things anyway. So um, we've got an image on the right hand side uh, which is obviously lady in a black dress, Kel Kel Kelsey, uh, one of our models and then we've got a real family on the left hand side uh, with all the kids and everything else with it and things ready. So the first things first, let's um, just look at uh, the image of Kelsey and look at the automation first because she's simpler to achieve uh, the actual effects with. So if I just delete that background layer, you can see here that this is the developed JPEG file and there is an unclean white floor. So we would want to actually possibly clear most of that up. Um, again, depends if you want a, a kind of a shadow that would usually be done in the photographic stages, a uh, kind of a forward shadow and so on. But um, hey ho, let's look at what we've got here. So the first things first in the white background, this is where we're using the remove background option in the likes of um, uh, Photoshop in the properties panel and we're creating a filled white layer and you can see here it's done an excellent job of her um, all I need to make sure really is that um, none of her body has been removed but we can see here up on the hand so the remove background or automation option ha has actually not fully done the job so we'd need to scan each image so this might not be the best uh, way to actually be doing stuff but let's just follow it through so the quick fix with that would be of course uh, B for brush, D for default, um, X uh, to put the um, uh, black on top if we were going to remove or in this case we want uh, the white to be on top because we want to bring back the limb. So as is, um, we've got away with it um, all around the edges of the body here as you can see all we would need to do is a quick scan around to make sure that we haven't removed anything that we need. That's one w quick way to do it. I'll show you how to do these now in a minute. All right. The next one will be uh, another action which is probably b the, whoops, the, <laughs> uh, the one I um, use more which is uh, selecting a white within the scene that we want white and basically adjusting the levels uh, and then actually kind of wiping this back so in other words if we hit the shift 5 um, or press my white background paint this is um, uh, basically now it's duplicated the layers I said it's affected it as far as the levels correction for the white floor it's set B for brush, D for default, and all I've got to do is press X to actually put uh, black on top. Now I have to paint all skin because um, it has to have that brought backwards because it has burnt out any of the highlights. And as you can see, that is still very, very quick. So when we're working uh, in an automated way, you've got to find which is the kind of the best solution for you. Let's uh, look at the other image for a minute. Let, let me just uh, switch back into consolidated all tabs view and we'll just select the other image. Now, as you can see here, this is not a ready to kind of uh, finish image because it hasn't been finished. Um, I am brought it straight in from RAW. I would usually do all the RAW uh, adjustments and then save it as a JPEG file. And if it was having to come into Photoshop, then of course it would be brought in from the, J, uh, the JPEG and not from the RAW. So there's elements in here that are wrong, the contrast on the image, the cropping hasn't been done, etc. There's things to fix here and I, I wouldn't even kind of contemplate on beginning to start to fix images at this stage. However, if, if you are, the first thing would be, of course, would be to uh, crop that uh, um, background off at the top. Uh, obviously if you're going to crop to a specific size that's down to you I'd never recommend that. At this point we definitely need to actually use the levels command to actually bring the contrast into the image. Remember the contrast is sharpening as well and uh, pretty much we're 
almost ready to go as a finished image here except that the floor is quite mucky um, so for me as I said the white background um, technique that I was showing to you so it duplicates the background adjusts the levels overall again puts a mask on here sets uh, me ready to actually have my brush tool let's make it big and then all I've got to do is go back and actually brush first of all all the tops of the bodies because if I've done my job right all the background uh, behind them is white lit correctly it's just actually near the feet that things are going to be a little bit more mucky so we can work with a smaller brush so how long did that take you know probably 20 seconds 30 seconds tops but if it had been brought uh, brought in um, uh, in the first place uh, correct uh, we wouldn't need to actually do these things so let's just step back into the raw process for one minute before we come back into Photoshop uh, to actually look at that again so let's come into bridge this is where I operate from um, obviously we can see here there's multiple images that are same I only really show the client the best of the best of the best but pretty much most of the uh, shots that are done on the high key or the white background would all need the similar correction so they need to actually be all selected first then from from there we would choose the best of the best images and then obviously we would actually take it to the next stage and if we had to go into Photoshop that's when we would so let's work on the image that we just saw though and let's imagine we're working with dozens of images uh, that they've all been selected but we would bring this into RAW once it had been renamed and once it had the metadata applied the first thing would be because this is a definite fix I would need to actually go in and just crop off that background um, because it's just you know waiting for another step in the process to be done which we don't want to do I want to make sure that we're adding in our, our basic our studio basics here so in other words a, med a medium contrast a plus eight in the contrast a minus eight in the blacks and once that's done pretty much the only thing then to fix is any correction as far as the exposure is concerned now of course at this stage if it was having to be done as an instant viewing in other words within 10 minutes 15 minutes um, I'd probably avoid from going into photo Photoshop and I would try and fix even if it was in a just a, a pre a preview fix uh, the things here so in other words I can uh, get the adjustment brush and I can just set the highlights and the whites to be bright, uh, be brighter as such. And uh, if if you've got all your kind of dials all in the wrong place, remember just press plus on the exposure, and then it resets everything else below. So in this case, we want to affect the high uh, the highlights, and we want to affect the whites. In other words, we want to make those brighter first. Let's just reset the expo exposure to zero now, just by uh, double clicking on the uh, slider middle. And then I can just go in and I can start to wipe the floor. So straight away, as you can see, we're pretty much preview fixed. And if there was another image in the same way, once we've done all the general uh, adjustments, then we could actually wipe our way through before we started to save them. That's probably the way I'll recommend to you if you have to do very quick viewings and you are struggling to clean the floor. So that's the first stage. However, let's say we haven't done that. We want to actually look at it in the likes of Photoshop. So in other words, here, I'm just going to delete that um, uh, adjust adjustment brush remember all all I did is adjustment brush here at the top of the palette and then I went over and increased the highlights and the whites I didn't affect the o overall exposure but of course if I needed to I would so remember all, all I did was choose a big brush with a slight feather and I just wiped across it so we can still see there's a little bit of forward shadow going on here but I don't mind that the worse comes the worse let's lighten the shadow and as you can see it's doing that as well okay um, so it's cleaning up the floor just a touch more if I needed to do a little bit more I could just press on new and then go in and actually just affect the part by the feet a little bit extra so again 
systems stru structure work the way that you want to but let's say that this had been saved and we're, we're doing it as fine as far as a final finish is concerned um, we would save this image as I said into a folder call it as JPEG uh, and then obviously I'd have to open it up in Photoshop let's open this um, image up and let's look at those two ways that I just showed you in the all uh, the automation First things first is that the photograph is technically not quite uh, defined as far as its contrast, its finish level is concerned. So in either of the techniques, my first point of call would be my levels adjustment. So it would be Control L and all I need to do is add um, the, uh, uh, con uh, the contrast from the black point down just a little bit. Uh, and if I need to just brighten that white just a fraction but it's not going to be a lot because most of that correction has already been done in the raw so at this stage it's still that flaw we need uh, we need to fix so like I was showing to you the first um, uh, op option that we have if we want to go through this is to uh, use the background uh, removal uh, uh, tool. So for me to do that, let's uh, we can see the layers here over on the right hand side. Um, to use the background removal tool, the first thing I would do is double click the background to unlock it. Then I would actually add a new layer. I would want to make sure I press D to default the colors and then control and backspace to fill it with white. Move the layer zero with the family on above now in the properties panel hit the remove background remember this would be in an action yes so remove background Photoshop then does its job and then all I need need to do is hit B for brush D for default okay then we put the um, uh, white on top and what we're going to do now is actually bring back any of the image that the, the background eraser or the background removal, I should say, has, has technically removed away. But you're going to need to still scan around this image to make sure uh, little bits of feet and everything else haven't been removed. When we're, when we're nearing the bottom, though, probably what we want to do, you can still see there's uh, all this kind of discolor, uh, discoloration uh, between the feet there. We'd still want to do the same thing, but now we want to make probably a much bigger brush. We want to change the opacity down to about 20%, so just hit numeric 2. And then we just start to actually, oh sorry, wrong button, <laughs> 0 here, I forgot we're actually still in the mass tool. Yeah, just actually, again, about 4 40 to 50 percent I should say just to actually bring that little bit of dirt uh, dirty white onto the floor uh, and that's pretty much you can see from its uh, mask over on the right hand side it's doing its job obviously at this point if we wanted to lighten the floor um, we could still actually use the levels adjustment to lighten and brighten so that is the uh, remove background option in the properties panel let's step backwards and let's look now at my preferred method still, which is um, obviously, as I said, still use your levels correction. So that could be built in as a part of the action if you knew that you were making the similar mistake each time, pressing OK with it. Now I want to control J to duplicate the level, all right, uh, the layer, I should say, control J. Uh, this is the uh, adjustment now to this just this layer okay so I'm going to hit control L so it is destructive I'm picking up the white picker I'm setting the dark point in the photograph that I want to be pure white and that does that for me so if I need to actually click onto the different areas uh, that's really down to you on, on, on how much you want to clean up whether you like the forward shadow or not pressing OK to that then of course within the action we would hit the mask tool B for brush, D for default, X to put black on top, and then of course what we need to do is wipe across all the fab uh, the family, bringing back all their de uh, their details straight uh, straight away, before we then start to actually work down on the lower ground, cha uh, changing the percent uh, percentage, and changing the brush whoop, changing the brush size mark, uh, changing the brush size to actually just bring back the flesh of the feet. But again, once we're getting very close to the feet now 
making that brush a little bit bigger, that's just with the right bracket tool, reduce the opacity down numeric 2 for 20%, and then pretty much we're at a fixed option. So as I said, two different ways to do it in the action, either clicking onto the white background to use the properties and remove, uh, remove it. Obviously at this point we need to... Oh, would help if I pressed X <laughs> uh, to put the white back on top of course um, and then we're just kind of swiping it through uh, remembering then to reduce the opacity down at the bot at the bottom if that's what we want to do then uh, just press either the numeric 2 or 3 20% for 2 30% is 3 um, but of course you've got to make sure that you're not missing bits of the feet and everything else like we are here then we go back to the o uh, the opening, and as I said, my preferred method though is the background fix first. So before we hit the action though, we have to fix the levels unless it is a standard adjustment that you're doing to every single one of your high key images before we hit the actual background play. At this at this point, we need black on top. It's a hundred percent first for the tops of the bod at uh, the bodies, and then shrinking the brush down. Shrinking the brush down, I should say, and then actually just rem uh, bring it in a little slightly less opacity. So different ways to skin the cat, whichever is the quickest one for you. Quicker is always in raw. Never forget that. This is where we really want to actually work on the image before anything else, before the basic process. Uh, and as I was showing to you, once we've got all the general kind of uh, exposure corrections and kind of the, the look and the feel to the image itself, whichever it's going to be, then we can start to work on the likes of the adjust, adjustment brush, just picking up the whites and the, high, uh, the highlights and just wipe across the actual floor. And that's pretty much going to do the job for you.